Welcome to Massive Beers. My name's Matt. We do beer things here. One of our favorite beer things. Mystery beer. Yeah, we got a mystery beer today, courtesy of our boy Matt from up Albany Way. Um, told this story many a times. I'll tell it again. He's written me a couple times on Instagram, gone back and forth. Knew I was coming up to Albany. We hooked up. We hung out. He gave me mystery beers. That's how the world rotates. So, for those that don't know, mystery beers are a mystery. I have no idea what I'm about to drink. It. But we're going to drink it anyway. This looks old. Like, there's a cap? Oh, maybe, maybe. I don't know. But it's a bottle. Mystery. There was not a big hiss on this. Um, yeah. Not a big kind of crusty cap on here but there's no hiss and it just has old vibes to me because the cap almost looks like it has a slight amount of um what's the word i'm looking for like like patina to it to where it's actually ooh, okay well i poured a little bit of the dredges in there but that's okay we'll make do um there's really no head on this thing whatsoever um it, if it did have any kind of carbonation it's almost certainly lost there's the tiniest bit left floating around in there and it looks like a fruit beer you know, it has this kind of orange raspberry kind of mixture in color particulate floating around. So you assume it's a bottle conditioned beer also. Um, so yeah, some kind of fruit beer. Euro fruit beer maybe? Yeah, anyway. Get that sucker in frame. It's good nose. That smells really good. It really does. It smells almost like an old school, like, um, it's like an undersweetened kind of rotabaki kind of thing. There's a big raspberry slash cherry note in here. It actually smells really good. I'm not going to lie to you. As fruit beers go, and when I say fruit beers, I mean classic kind of fruit beers, you know, not the new school kind of smoogy kind of, like, big kind of, like, um, uh, puree kind of fruit smoothie beers. Talking about your old school classic kind of schmay red or, you know, you know, like I said, your fruitages, your, um, your uh, Rodenbox, those kind of things. It comes off that kind of fruit beer, um, not the Rodenbach like, lambic fruit beers. I mean, like, this kind of, like, weird euro kind of fruit beers so big huge uh, it's probably raspberry but i always lean into cherry here nope just gonna dive in cheers man that's old that is old um what is this man it almost um comes off as a raspberry cherry let's uh, stick to my raspberry cherry roots um jolly rancher juice not as tart as what you get, like, um, or super sweet, like, uh, um, um, what's their name? God damn it. New Glarus, like, there's, uh, red, um, New Glarus Red. It's not like that, like, cheek pulling, super sweet yet tart. It's more of like a, you're, you're, um, after you've done, you know, gobbing down one of those kind of strawberry cherry kind of, uh, Jolly Ranchers, what your mouth tastes like after it's gone. The mixture of saliva, so everything's a bit more tempered. It's not still, but it's getting there. It's very flat. Um, there's a decent amount of oxidation in it, and there is a bittering here. It makes me want to think it had some kind of dry hop, aggressive hopping to it at one time. You know, and it's kind of lost its way. I assume this has some decent amount of age on it. Even though the cap here, like I said, underneath, usually, um, you know, especially white caps like these will get a little bit funky. Um, this one is not really funky. Um, but, I mean, it's going to be hard to see, but the cap just looks old. It has this kind of slight kind of patina to it. Um, so what is this? I'm going to call it, like, some Euro... This almost reminds me, I don't think they put beer beers in bottles like this, but Freigeisty kind of vibe. So some kind of like old Shelton Brothers import fruited Euro beer, raspberry, raspberry IPA, a really old raspberry IPA because that bittering is there and it's like the ghost of hops past. So big washed out raspberry vibes low carbonation a pop of uh aggressive old school kind of bittering done and done so i'm gonna call this a 2014 fruited pale ale from europe let's see how far we are on this one okay <laughs> a 
Kale with cherries. I went raspberry. See, I told you. I, I always screw that up. Oh, Vera Montagico. Be United Import. Okay. This is an Italian beer. Water, barley, malts, cherries, sugar, hops, and yeast. Amber ale brewed with cherries, unfiltered, unpasteurized, bottle conditioned. I've never even heard of this brewery before. Bira Montegioco? I don't know if you could read that there. Let's see if I can help while my camera zooms in on stuff. That's the brewery. I've never heard of these guys before. Um, let's see if we can find a date on this. Garbadinia Ale. It's got a really weird old label on it, too. 8%. I'd never guessed the alcohol on it. I would have not gotten 8% on this. There is a little kind of blow-off of alcohol, but I think I would have went closer to 6. I don't see a date. Does the cat have a date? This has got to be old. Matt, you got to tell me how old this is. Unless I'm missing... The label almost has this kind of, like... Like pressure sensitive, like not waterproofy kind of label thing going on, like something that you would just see at like uh, like printers, you know, when you get stickers made and you put them on your car and then they don't last, that kind of thing. You don't really use those for beer bottles. Bonus points for the barcode from um, Westmere, doing it in a nice sweet bubble jet printer. Um, God, I want to know how old this is now. It definitely has age on it. What did I say, 2014? So I don't know if you can see that. I'll hold my little light up here. You might you'll be able to see it better if I do that. See how there's a, like a I don't know if you can detect that ring. It's right right there. Right above the light, you can see that ring. So that's your Merc ring I talk about all the time. Um, that's how I know this definitely has some time on it. You know, for a beer that I'm assuming is pushing ten years old, probably like more like eight years old, from a brewery I never heard of. It's the Amber Ale with cherries. It's more of a fruited beer than anything else. Actually, if I'm going to call it anything, if I'm going to give this a title, I'm curious to see what they say online. I call it a, um, it's almost like a beer to guard. It is more what it's like. label is kind of old school sexist stuff that also makes me think it is might even be older than that. Um, yeah. It's a fun mystery beer, though. I'll tell you that much. Thank you very much, man. These are the kind of beers that turn me on. He's been hitting me with these... Uh, very weird, old school, super dated beers, and um, this one was definitely not um, not in its prime. Let's put it that way. But there's something endearing about it, you know. Something endearing about these old beers. I can always find something fun about them, and this one was quite fun. So I'm not even really talk about is it better is as good or Mount Rushmore or any of that stuff. I'm just gonna say that was a really fun mystery beer. Thank you very much. What did I call it? Um, somebody's your. I called it a Euro. Pale ale with raspberries, even though I was flirting back and forth with raspberry and cherry because they come off very similar to me in beer. So, eh, you know, close but no cigar, but fun nonetheless. So, there you go. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this mystery beer. Uh, a little review. If you did, you can comment down there. You can also send mystery beers. You're more than welcome to reach out on the social media. Just throw those DMs up in there, baby. Hopefully, you guys uh, are enjoying some decade old mystery beers right now. Hopefully, see you next time. Cheers, y'all.